So we've been waiting for this package for a long time. In fact, we've been wanting something that is similar to this package for longer than we've been doing YouTube. So today is a pretty exciting day because finally we are moving our off-grid solar system to 48 volts. We are currently running on a 24 volt system and it works fine, but there are limitations as far as power usage and power and charging capabilities and efficiencies. So we got this package from our friends at Sun Gold Power and I am super excited to open it and show you what we have inside. This is the Blue Power SP6548 by Sun Gold Power. It's an all-in-one unit. It's a charge controller. It's an inverter. It's an AC charger. This is going to replace everything that we have in our existing solar closet that's in the bus. And we're going to be installing this into our house. Today. Today. We're gonna have power in the house. Hopefully today. Hopefully today. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow, but we'll see how the day goes. Might even be the day next to, the, to tomorrow, but we are working on it right now. So. So yeah, big. Uh, shout out to Sun Gold for sending us this unit. We've been drooling over this thing for a while. As soon yeah. as Sun Gold released this, I knew that this is exactly what we wanted to have in our house and this would suit our needs completely. If you remember in the 80s and 90s when all computers looked like crap, they were all the same color of tan, um, they were ugly. Nobody thought, hmm, let's make these something that you might want to have in your home. It was kind of the same with uh, solar charge controllers and all that stuff. Before all of these all-in-one units came out, you know, you had a whole bunch of odd looking things together and it looked kind of like a mess. This thing is sexy. Look at the color of that. Look at the layout of that. It's so strong. It's you can tell it's it's built well. I uh, I'm not gonna hate having that exposed in my house. Blue Power SP6548 is a 6.5 kilowatt DC 48 volt pure sine AC output 120 volt. It's got a built-in MPPT solar charge controller uh, with a max of 120 amps. It has a utility battery charger, max 120 amps, which is why we're super excited about it because we don't get a lot of sun in the winter. It has a max PV input of 250 volts, though their website says that they'll be changing that in September to 500 volts, so it's a high voltage unit. Uh, there's a dual PV input. Uh, it's UL1741 standard listed by TUV, CSA, and FCC, so it's licensed for use in Canada, which is why we're very excited about it. You can support, it supports up to six units. I said eight units, it supports up to six units in parallel. Built-in Wi-Fi transmitter uh, enables inverted data to be transmitted via Wi-Fi, so that's great. You can just, with your phone, see what's going on with your power system. You don't even need a battery to run this. You can run directly off of solar panels if you have it set up in that way. It's LCD operated, so this here actually can come off and, and you can put this somewhere remotely so that you don't have to be sitting right in front of the unit. So, that's cool. super awesome unit. We're super excited to get this thing set up. I've been reading the manual to the unit and our original idea was to have the unit underneath the stairs and the batteries and everything kind of all tucked away underneath the stairs. Problem with that is it requires 50 centimeters of clearance above it and we can't meet the clearance underneath. So, like I said, thank goodness it doesn't look bad because we're gonna be putting it right here for time being. Once we're done building a house, we are building a power shed and we're gonna have it outside, but we are going to have everything connected inside the house for now because I don't have time to build a shed. So, um, yeah, we're gonna have it right there and it's gonna work fine. But we have to put a non-combustible surface over top of the plywood. So Katie and I are gonna, going to install that right now. Right where? Right on the, uh, on the dryer.
So just mark the top. Mark the, the top of the spot. No, in the screw holes. Okay, so our plan is to have the cables come down. They're gonna go through the wall and on the other side of the wall, we're gonna have our batteries kind of under the first section of the stairs. And we're gonna be putting cement board everywhere. On the back side, yeah, for sure. Yeah, around the battery so that there's nothing combustible. A lot of people back in the day when they were off grid did not build any of their battery systems inside their home because they were typically using lead, flooded lead acid, which off, gas, off gases a toxic gas. But lithium iron phosphate is a safe technology. But it's fire risk, isn't it? No, it's it, they're, they're, like there have been a few of them that have had issues, but that's damaged cells in the first place. And we've used right. ours for two years already. So, okay. There, that's my two cents. <laughs> Well, anyways, we have been talking about having our battery, our uh, solar stuff in a separate shed in the future. So, because obviously this is primo storage space. So we do want to keep that area free, but um, yeah, it's going to be nice. We're going to have this and then everything is just going to go and get tucked away behind the wall and it's just going to be nice and clean and good. So that's what we're doing. Does not fit. Or does it? No? Well, it just about does. I just forgot to take that one step out, I think. <laughs> oh, man. So close. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Still not gonna work. It's too tight. <laughs> is it actually? Well, that is definitely. I can't really force it because it'll break, won't it? Too hard. Too hard, it'll break, yeah. Round three. This better go in or I quit building this house. <laughs> no, allowed to. <laughs> you have to build the rest by yourself. Okay. As long as it comes in ready to assemble packs, I'm, I'm good to go. It doesn't. <laughs> It doesn't, man. I'm telling you. actually quite small in there. <laughs> it's a lot smaller when you look at it like this. Yeah. Darkness. I'd imagine I go like this, right? Am I right, Katie? I don't know. I don't know how to use this. Tell the people what is happening. I am crimping a lug. A let. No, the tool. Oh. You got a hydraulic. I got a hydraulic um, crimping tool. And, From uh, Amazon. We'll link it below. Yeah, we will link it below. I'm mean, actually only if I think I like this, but for the price, you know, pretty damn good so far. There. My feet or your feet that I smell? 
Maybe it's a mixture between the two. Someone's feet smells. Mine have. Guess who I smell every day when you come home? Me, because I work giving that money home. talking about huh what do you think junip er what <laughs> nothing <laughs> I'm hooking up my 12 volt line line which is a 16 gauge line that goes to our toilets that run like no amps. I don't know why I chose 12 volt only for my toilets. It's the only thing that runs on 12 volt in the house. And I am installing extension cord in my electrical system. What? That's what this is. I could oh. strip it and then it would be just 16 gauge, which is what we need, but like. Don't strip it. It's, there's not enough there's no power draw basically there's two little fans yeah. this is like that's an extension cord you know what i mean so i guess Hi. i Sneaker. guess that's what i'm doing that's what i'm doing right now as we speak i don't really like that that doesn't have a place to screw back here hmm. that's weird yeah those are the temperature sensors so that bms Positive, negative, that's how it goes here. So today we got the uh, new unit installed. We went and bought the two odd cable, which was $250 for 12 feet of copper cable, two, two odd cable, crazy. We got the 12 volt, um, system almost installed. I got the two bus bars installed. I just need some um, connectors for the battery. I've got the ground wire installed. I just finished pounding uh, a six foot rod into the earth here and have the house now grounded to the panel. What else do we do today, Katie? We got quite a bit done. Um, Katie's been training the puppy to lay down. But I think I'm gonna leave it here. This is gonna be a week long project. You'll probably see me in moments doing some more because this video is far from over, but it's Sunday afternoon and I feel like eating and sleeping. So that's what I'm gonna do. Thanks for sticking around. Causing a ruckus? One of the steps that needs to get completed in order to hook the solar up to the house is we've got to move the solar line from 
the bus over to the house and it's buried underground. So I am gonna start digging and try to find it. It's not super deep or anything, but digging sucks. So yeah, I'm not looking forward to it, but it needs to be done. <laughs> How's the condition of the line? That's good. <laughs> what you doing there, Katie? This. Yes. <laughs> Trying to dig through cement. Being very careful of the line, eh? Well, you know me, but I'm not very strong. Want me to try to rip it up? Yeah. Okay. Are you kidding me? That is so not fair! <laughs> roar! 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 <laughs> Might as well go that way now, too. Oh, come on, Katie. That was nothing. I you can't. Get stronger. I was, I've been trying to do that. Give me a try. Look. <laughs> like nothing. Don't, don't even tell me you've been trying to do that. Not over here, no. Up there I was. Good, that's done. Don't drop the wrench. Executed if I touch the top of this. Okay. We gotta get this to the ground, you know, right? I think we should be able to lift both of it. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Get yourself well connected, well ready for that side. Do you want to come on this side? I don't think so. Right. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Ah! Oh yeah. <laughs> That is 200 pounds, Katie. Good job. Uh, I don't know how to... Three. 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 Three
getting lighter. Bump here, bump up with your ass. I have this in a 24 volt configuration, so now I need to go into 48 volt. So I gotta pull it all apart and get all the balance leads on and everything. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, we'll just put it right here for now. Juniper. Destroying everything you possibly can. Yes. No continuity. This is gonna spark. Katie is gonna be freaky. Nope, it's not. <laughs> Feels pretty anticlimactic. Oh, thank God. Okay, so I have the. Sun Gold Power, Blue Power, SP6548 installed. I just have a temporary line, some Romax coming out of it to a um, plug-in because I don't have my panel set up. But we now have our batteries in the house. We have our 48. Dog's chewing. We now have our batteries in the house. We have our... 48 volt system running, which is the first time since we've lived off grid that we have actually gone 48 volts, which I'm super excited about. And yeah, I'm just gonna plug in the panels and then we're gonna get it all set up tomorrow. But at least we've got power running from inside the house. All right, next up, we need to get the solar panels connected to the sun gold so we can get charging. We misplaced the MC4 connectors and then we managed to find them. So yesterday we did have to charge with the generator, but yeah, it went all good. It was everything charged perfectly that way, which is good. And now we just want to get the sun coming in to charge us. So we don't have to run the generator. So yeah, we've got to just connect, bring the lines up through the floor, connect them to the sun gold, and then we're going to run down to the panels and plug them back in so that the power can start coming through and then we'll be able to get a few hours of charge today. Alright, we have got everything hooked up now the last thing we have to do is go down to the solar panels and turn them on and i think we're going to be taking a gun with us because i just chased a bear off of the chicken tractor we're bringing we're bringing uh bear spray this oh because i got one gun and i got another gun i was in our yard and i saw a black bear go through there over to the chicken coop. So I grabbed the, grabbed the puppy, put her in the bus, close the door, because she can get out of our fence. And then I grabbed a shovel and I ran over there, banging everything I could on the way. And the bear did not want to leave. He just, he just went into the bushes and was sitting there. 
I was just banging on everything. It went over by our travel trailer and the, there's an old rotten trailer. Went back there and I was banging on stuff over there and it didn't want to leave and eventually it went back towards the chickens. So I went back over there and was banging on stuff again and eventually it left. And then the guinea started screeching. So I came over to our chicken coop and I could hear it down our property towards our solar panels crashing in the bushes. So uh, I think I scared it off, but I'm pretty sure the uh, bear will be back tonight for those chickens because they are not very secure. And I'm hoping our neighbor will move them to his yard because they're his birds that are left, so. Come on. Carry on. Kitty, you ready? Yes, go. Ah, uh, am I gonna do it? Hurry up. You may count down. No, just count do down it. for fourteen. Three, two, one, go. What's that say? It says solar power, MPPT, multiple PowerPoint tracking, battery is charging. What is our input? So I guess we. Input is four amps, 366 watts, which makes sense because we don't have much much uh, sun on those panels That's right now. Smoky. Humongous thanks to Sun Gold Power for even coming out with this unit because this is literally what we need in this house. This is what we need off grid. This suits our needs perfectly. Already I've noticed there's been power savings because we've been running on a 48 volt system and This thing rocks. I love it. I'm super 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 excited to have this We're not the type of people that go out and get $50,000 systems or $30,000 no. systems like we want to keep things budget and DIY and DIY exactly. Yeah We can't afford that if you can afford it awesome and you want to be set up to have power for however long that large of a system could keep you going in a gray day, we just can't put out that money. No. Maybe well, one day. Well, you know what, we can. <laughs> we could if we invested in it, but a part of this whole off-grid journey is learning how to do this stuff on our own. And a unit like this makes, makes it so much easier because this is every answer to our prayers. Like, um... Are you praying? <laughs> no. But... <laughs> This is it. This is it. Uh, we're going to put a link to this unit down in the description if you're in the market uh, for some solar stuff. And yeah, check it out. It's been awesome. Will Prouse did a review, and I think that's how you watched his mm -hmm. installation for information. So that's a great video. Mm -hmm. And uh, Will Prouse is kind of the. The he's solar a, king a, of YouTube. He's so. a solar guru, I guess you could say. Yeah, so um, if he's yeah. recommending it. Can't We're go recommending wrong. it, for <laughs> sure. And we'll do a follow up video in the future, maybe even just a snippet in a video just to say, just ex explain how this has worked for us. Thanks again, Sun Gold Power. We are going to enjoy using this amazing piece of equipment. Thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll catch you in the next video.